Now today I'm just going to show you how to make a quick and easy keto friendly, low carb friendly and banting friendly pickle recipe. Very few ingredients and it's very, very easy. So if you're interested and you want to see how to make this quick and easy recipe, stay tuned. <music> Yes guys, so I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy pickle. Um, what we have here is sweetness, some salt, some pepper, some apple cider vinegar and I had some garlic and chili paste but I decided to not use the garlic and chili paste and just use my sugar, salt and pepper and apple cider vinegar. I have some fresh dill and then I also have some seedless mini cucumbers. You can use the English cucumbers as well. It will work perfectly for this recipe as well. So um, let's get started. So now I'm just going to chop my little cucumbers or my little mini cucumbers into spears and then I'm going to, I'm just measuring to see whether the size of the spears, the cucumber spears will fit into my little jars and they will fit perfectly. And like I stated before, you can easily adjust the recipe and use um, just your normal uh, English cucumbers. Is getting my cucumbers ready before I start with my little vinegar concoction. I'm done with my chopping my little cucumbers are ready and my dough is ready so now we're going to start liquid concoction so I've added my vinegar into a pot just use apple cider vinegar you can also use white wine vinegar but I like the apple cider vinegar I like the taste of it and then I'm going to add a tablespoon of salt and I added I adjusted this my sweetener as I as it sort of went along um, and then I'm going to add, I think in the beginning I added about, two, I started with two sachets of my sweetener and then I sort of let it boil through and then I taste as I went along and then I added an extra two more sachets. So like I said, you can obviously add and adjust to your palate and how you like the, uh, the, the sour sweet combination. And then what I also did was I put it on a low medium heat and I just sort of let that simmer away just to get the salt and the sugar or the sweetener to, to dissolve into the mixture. I'm just adding some pepper into the liquid mixture. I didn't have whole um, peppercorn, so I just grinded a few, about a tablespoon or so into the liquid mixture as well. What you can also do that's a great um, option is that you can add some whole garlic um, into it as well and that will also give a nice an, another fresh layer of taste and flavor to the mixture as well. So like I said before, I am just adding the dough and I'm just stacking the little um, cucumbers into the jar and getting everything sorted so now I'm trying to mix or get the mixture into my liquid or, or get the mixture into my into my jars and I'm obviously failing 
terribly. <laughs> and then what I decided was just to get one of my little uh, cup measuring things and just sort of scoop out the mixture, the liquid mixture like that into the little jars. And then I'm just doing that at the moment. So. quick and easy recipe no fuss no hassle you can obviously tweak it to the way you like it how much sourness you like or how much sweeter you would like it you can tweak the ingredients so here's my little quick and easy homemade pickle you need to wait until, until it's cooled down to room temperature before you store it into the fridge and it should be ready to go or ready to eat the next day you obviously the longer it stores the better and the more intense the flavors would get and this could easily last you for three to four months in the refrigerator if not longer so please give it a try let me know down below in the comments and don't forget just do me two more faves please that is click that subscribe button and click the notification button to let you know when i upload a new video so let me know what you think of my homemade pickle thanks guys give it a try <laughs>